Hello friends, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. I'm Chelsea, you know that, I know that, and yes, I'm still in my huggle, yes. It's none of your business. But listen, it's the week between Christmas and New Year's. What do you expect? I don't know what day it is. It's Tuesday. I'm just kidding. But I'm probably going to be in this or another version of it for like the rest of 2023. For all of 2023. Okay? I'm trying to be comfy and live my best life. Did you know that this is a top fails video? I knew you knew because you're smart. So let's go ahead and get into it. This is most likely going to be the last top fails before the new year. So let's party. So if you know me, you know I'm not the most organized person, but we are changing that this week. Um, I've been working on it and it's coming along really great. So I can't wait to finally show you guys my place after almost living here for a year. But I wanted to show you guys. Is it weird to have a little light up marquee signs? that say the company you work for? Is that weird? Do I have YouTube up here? No, I don't. I really don't. You know what the sad thing is? is that she probably bought that herself. It's a business expense. <laughs> Whatever. Let's say that she did get those products for free. That's still too much product for you to even to be able to consume by yourself. Like, that's great. She could like use that for years. No, you can't. On the back of those products, guess what it says? But it's the little like jar with that has a little cap on it. And then it has, you know, 6M, 12M, 9M, whatever on the back. This says 12M. First of all, who the heck can make this last one year? That's insane. So that is the shelf life. That means that the shelf life of this is like this product is good for 12 months, right? Now for most every product, even if it's sealed, which this is not because I already unsealed it and already used it, but even if it's sealed, it means that the product inside here is good for 12 months or whatever it says on the back. That number doesn't start when you open it. It starts when it like hits the shelves, like when it's made, right? I just find it interesting that they don't understand that like your product can still expire even if you don't open it, even if you don't unseal it. Like I am correct in saying, in my opinion, there's no way she can make it through all those products, especially if they say that their products last four to six months. Like you'd be not last four to six months, but like will last you four to six months, like usage wise. That's my point. I think I'm right. I could be completely wrong, but that was a pretty compelling argument, wasn't it? After seeing my little, you know, stockpile, why I need so much product, I go through it like crazy. I use everything. Um, this bag is full of empties just literal empty products like it's ripping this box full of empties and this one full of empties oh my gosh then i have this one all empty products <laughs> been about a year since I recycled um, my empties. I don't know why, I've just been keeping them in boxes in the corner, but we're done with that. Another box of empties. That doesn't make any sense. Why would you have three or four, let's just say three, why would you have three big containers of empty products? Four bottles of each thing you use should last you all year. That doesn't make any sense. Who's the customer, Kayla? Who's the customer? another <laughs> and then this big one that i had to take everything out of because it got too heavy so i actually use a lot of the products um more than people would think more than i even think i don't know how i've even accumulated that much stuff it's crazy it's really interesting to hear like oh i got all that for free though I don't want to say she's a liar because I don't know. She could have gotten all of that for free, but I highly doubt it. I mean, that's a lot of, that's a lot of product for the company to just be giving away. I feel like that's not it. Okay, so those of you who know me know I'm a little bit ADD. I don't know if I actually have ADD, but I feel like I'm a little ADD and it's really hard to focus. Guys, I just worked for like five, almost six hours straight without looking up after taking this thing. Um, I don't know what this sorcery is. So my new friend, Lauren, um, I basically said, hey, like, what do you guys have for focus? And she gave me this packet. I'm not even a member of the company yet, but I tried it. 
and I tried it on uh, Saturday as well and I was like I am so productive and the really cool thing is it wasn't like having sugar I wasn't having this massive high and this massive low I just felt really steady all throughout the day and after being up with a you know three month old overnight I'm like whoa how did I just work for like so long I think the really impressive part was that I had her with me and I was able to look after her and get straight back into work. Like I had two really important business meetings. I wrote emails. I did everything that I needed to do in the day, which I usually don't even get done. So I guess the moral of the story is when your friends offer to give you something to help you, just say yes. <laughs> when people offer you things, just say yes, because you might be surprised. I'm like, okay, Nick, we're going to put in this order. He's like, Beck, what's this crack that you're on? I'm like, I don't know, but I'm so. So yeah, if you want to try it, some of you have already reached out to me. I wasn't expecting that. Um, feel free to DM me because I'm like, if it helps me be that much more productive, I'm getting so much more done in the day. Um, my income producing activities are going up. Like that's super worth it. And I can figure out how to hook you up too because I'm like, dude, I'm usually like squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. And like, I get nothing done <laughs> or not as much done as I would like. So I know there's other people who probably have the same problem. So yeah, I can talk to my friend and see how I can help you. Cool side note, it's been like five hours since I took this and I'm about to go for a run and I'm still feeling super focused and super energized, which is like never happened to me. Usually it wears off by now, but I'm still like in production, like productivity mode. <laughs> Can't even talk. I don't know about y'all, but that's how I feel when I take pre-workout. Got a little ADHD hack for you is if you are wearing tennis shoes, like keep tennis shoes on. It's so silly and so simple, but like it makes you want to do things. <laughs> it's wild. As I'm wearing these slippers right now from Target, but I already did a bunch of my productive stuff for today and now I'm working. So I feel like a lot of these people have like never taken pre-workout, but I don't know, man. It's also just interesting how she's like, if your friend is trying to sell you something or trying to just give you something, just take it. Ma'am, you're about to have a lot of people on drugs. Don't, I don't, don't just take pills from people, please. Please don't do that. You don't know how it's going to affect your body. Even just with like supplements and stuff, please talk to your doctors. Consult with a physician before adding like something new like that to your routine. It is very important because you might have a deficiency or an overactive something that you don't even know about and it can be really helpful for you or detrimental for you to take something or not take something. Seven and a half hours and I'm still hyper-focused and very productive and I'm here working and doing things around the house and working some more and then doing some things around the house and I'm like let's go and I went for a run and still going not crashing okay so this is an 11 hour post taking this focus um it's like 10 p.m still not feeling the crash I just feel like I'm getting like kind of normally tired like I would for bed um so yeah. Also, a lot of times these products, it is a placebo effect, which it seems silly, but that can happen. And then also pretty interesting how she hasn't said anything about the product or brand or company. It's just a day long product review and that's it. So yeah, I'm really loving that I'm not having a massive crash and being like, oh my gosh, I need to sleep right now. Um, my DMs have been flooded with you guys <laughs> um, asking me about this. And so I, I've just been referring people to a video that tells you all about it. So she's saying that she's not a part of the company, but you're sending people. I feel like she is. I feel like she did join. Like per the FTC, they have to disclose that they work for a company or that they are an affiliate with it. Just like how, not an affiliate, distributor. I have to disclose if I'm, if a code is an affiliate code or if I am an affiliate with a company or if you're using an affiliate link. Like I have to disclose that as an influencer. Why don't they have to disclose that? I'm pretty sure they do. At the end of her story, the sample worked, I'm ordering. But then at the beginning, she said that she like got the sample from her friend and then she had told her husband that she was putting in a big order. So she had already put in an order. So girl, what, so which is it? Like, I know these are just little like minuscule things, but like that doesn't add up. So please get it together. Okay, so you guys have been blowing up my DMs. <laughs> Love it. Um, <clears throat> some people were wondering, how did I go with sleep? I slept like a baby. I slept like I normally do. Um, I woke up with my baby. But other than that, I slept really well. I think what I loved the most was not having this massive high and massive low. I just had like steady energy, steady focus, steady heart rate the whole day. And I've never had a cup of coffee before in my life. So that was pretty big.
So I didn't take, obviously I ran, I just had a sample yesterday, but boy am I tired today. I'm noticing the big difference it had because it's 11.30, I haven't even done anything yet. <laughs> Very unmotivated, still super sleepy. So then when you don't take it, you're super sleepy? But she was saying that that's like normal. You're not talking about something that much if you're not getting a kickback, okay? Kickback meaning, like you don't have to be sponsored by them, but it could be like an affiliate link. I don't know. I mean, there are things that I love that I don't benefit from financially, but that's suspicious. Okay, so this is kind of the same question, but in a little bit different context. So I wanted to- Oh my God. All right, salvage soul. The- top ranks of shamanate and it says ask me any business advice and it says i keep showing up talking about the greatness of monate help others but no results let's see if she tries to like flip it on like that person oh i really hope she doesn't make it about mindset when you are talking 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 and you're not showing anyone this kind of happens you hit the wall over and over and over again events you guys, I know, most of us don't like them. Actually, half the time, I don't even want to go to the event, to be completely honest, until I'm there. And then I'm like, oh, thank God I came. This is so much, you know, it's just like, we, we want to stay in our comfort zone. I maybe didn't want to get dressed or shower, or wash my hair, leave my kids, do the things. You know what I'm saying? So you have to, you have to show people more so. I had a bag. I'm going to tell you guys this. But that says I keep showing up, talking about the greatness of money. How can you... Like, what if they don't have anything to show for it? Because they don't have any results. Like, also going to events. The events are mostly all Mon8 people. So how is going to an event, why would that convince someone to join Mon8? If you're my friend or family member, you can attest for this. I had a suitcase. It was my traveling Mon8 suitcase. And I would bring it to every single function that I went to when I was washing someone's hair there. You have to show that. If you, you're not allowed to wash other people's hair. Isn't that illegal if you're not like licensed to do so you can't just go wash someone's hair pretty sure she isn't licensed to do so so her advice is to go to someone's house or go to an event and wash people's hair that's awful advice notice how she didn't say anything about recruiting they're not seeing results because they're not able to recruit anyone that's probably why so why don't you give advice on recruiting instead of telling people to put products in a bag and go wash someone's hair. This says, POV, one of my friends finally switched their hair care and can't believe that everything I've been posting is 1000% true. I mean, that's just not everything you've been posting. The, the thing is that it's, it's not about the products though. It's about recruiting. So that's another important aspect like the the products with money with any mlm they're mediocre at best they're mediocre and overpriced the reason why they are overpriced is because from those sales from those sales of products the company has to pay so many people off of that one sale so that's always why the products are so freaking expensive this is someone in wfab and it says today's w u w w and that is waking up with WFAB. Block number one that have been holding you back from achieving your goals, believing in the lack. What does that even mean? It is keeping you, that is holding you back from achieving your goal is that you believe in the lack. If you feel like you're not enough or you're not having enough, well, you spend a lot of effort trying to prove to other people that you're enough, but you know deep down of yourself that you don't feel like that right? And that blocks you from having all of the blessing that can ever come to your life. The lack of time, you don't want to focus on that. You don't want to focus on the lack of this and this and that, okay? Because what you focus on will grow. It's all perspective. It's taking everything in me not to comment on her hair. So I just want y'all to know that I'm growing as a human being, okay? Focus on will grow. If you look at your life and truly think and believe that you lack money or love or resources or health, whatever the case may be, that is what you're going to continue to attract in your reality. Be delusional. And if you are lacking self-love and lacking money and lacking friends, and you're self-aware, and you're acknowledging those things in order to change them, you're just going to keep believing that. Ma'am. Miss. Miss. Ma'am. No. <laughs> Why are they so against self-awareness and just being honest with yourself? And also, how dare you? <laughs> but if you focus on, a, on, the, focus on, a, on the abundance that is coming your way, maybe, okay, like, 
because I'm somebody that is also really... But if you focus on the things that don't have anything to do with your life right now and the things you don't have, so if it's coming your way, you don't have it yet. So you're focusing on the things you don't have. If you strip all this away and actually listen to what they're saying, she's just saying, don't focus on your current situation. Don't be self-aware. Don't be honest with yourself. Focus on what you could have in the future. Focus on what you don't have. So be delusional. Don't focus on reality. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm a dreamer. I get it. Positivity all the way. But like, self-awareness is extremely important. They wouldn't know about making good business decisions, would they? Realistic. So it's, it's um, and maybe that's why I had a hard time at the beginning with the law of attraction, right? Because I'm like, yeah, I'm living in my penthouse, but no, I'm not living in my penthouse. You know what I mean? I, I can see that I'm not living in my penthouse, right? But for me, it's easier to tell me like, like focus on the abundance that is coming your way. Maybe you don't have it right now, but if you're grateful for where you're at, and that is one thing, I've always been grateful for where I'm at. Okay, when I even when I got started in my business, I was making $20 a week. I was grateful because, hey, it's $20, okay, that I was not having before. I give all of my energy and my attention and my focus to what's coming. And if you like, if you're close to me or if you follow me on social media, I always talk like, talk like that. Oh my God, there's so many things coming. I'm excited. Always. You got my stories and I, I talk about that all the time. I I talk about that all the time, but that's true. I'm grateful. When you got started in your business, you were making $20 a week, but y'all were promoting that you were making a lot more than that in order to recruit people so that you could make more than that. It was $20 you didn't have before. Did you not have a job before? Because surely you were making more than $20 a week before, unless you were working two hours a week. It's so hard (laughs) to not just tear apart every single little thing they say or break, rather break down every little thing they say. Because if you think about it more than five seconds, none of it makes sense and it all falls apart and none of it's rooted in reality. She said, be realistic. I'm living in my penthouse. Obviously I'm not living in my penthouse. Whose penthouse? You don't have a penthouse. Stop saying my penthouse. A penthouse. You don't have one. Realistically, with where you are within WFAB and where you are in the company, what rank you are and all that, you will probably never have a penthouse. And even if you made it to the place where Jasmine is or whoever is, above you i would hope that you would never live in a penthouse i want the best for you obviously i want you to thrive and live whatever best life you want to live but that would be so dumb if you bought or rented most likely bought a penthouse then again most of them like fake all this stuff anyways so but isn't that such a great way to get yourself disappointed because you can say all day long oh my god there's so many great things coming my way right now but are they being delusionally positive like that is not great. So focus and give your attention to that. And that's what's going to grow. When you focus on the lack, that doesn't make you feel good. And that means you're going to vibrate at a low level. And you can't attract high vibrational goals vibrating at a low level. You can't attract high vibrational goals vibrating at a low level. You are not a Hitachi magic wand. You are not vibrating at any level. Please stop saying that. That's cringy. That's embarrassing. It's just buzzwords that people are like, oh my God, yeah, I like, I'm a high value woman. I'm, I vibrate at levels. No, you don't. You're delusional. Please stop saying these things. Go get a job and stop scamming people. Yeah, I would totally agree with you. But then we would both be wrong. This is overcoming the objection of money is too expensive. And you're right, it is. So this says... VIP customer registration, $19.99. You know, you get your discount, whatever. And first of all, never pay attention to the suggested retail price. That means nothing at all. It's $135 discount, which I'm assuming is the, the VIP discount. And then it's today's subtotal, $118.59. That's only six. <laughs> I cannot. That's only $16 to $24 a month full system that will last you four to six months. Volumizing shampoo, volumizing conditioner, then the leave-in conditioner, and then the Rejuva beads, but it's a travel size. The hair repair treatment kit that is on Ulta, the Olaplex one, you get four products. It's their system and that's $62. That's still cheaper, girl. That's half the price. Um, So that's hilarious, but I just debunked her. I also don't understand why she always makes this face. That is going to be it 
for top fails number 93 wish we would have been able to get to, or rather i wish i would have been able to get through a hundred of them this year but it's okay i hope you have a great rest of your day night weekend whenever you're watching this save your friends and family from them it is not cringy if you share on your social media about these types of scams just for like awareness and stuff it's super helpful very very helpful you could be helping a lot of people just by doing that and remember how valuable you are stay spicy do not forget to stay spicy leave your favorite hot sauce brand down below i've been a, uh, a big hot sauce gal lately i need to try new hot sauces frank's red hot but also the truff hot sauce oh so good there's merch down below as well that is a wonderful way to support me but yeah let me know your favorite hot sauce down below and i will check it out and i will also see you in my next video goodbye